Hi guys, so I wanted to make this video to show you my hair, which you can see over here, it's blonde now. It's actually uh, an experience I've never done before, so I wanted to talk a little bit about it. So just in case those of you that want to try putting a lighter color, whether it's uh, not blonde, maybe golden bronze or honey blonde like I did um, yeah I'll tell you my input so I first had dyed my hair golden blonde golden ugh, sorry golden bronze and yeah I enjoyed that for a while but it was more closer to the hair color that I had currently so I wasn't too happy with it like I loved it but I wanted something more poppy like this and so then I proceeded to then try the honey blonde which was a um, little lighter it's it has more of a orangey um, blonde look and I enjoyed that for a while but still didn't pop out as much as I wanted it to so I proceeded to not do it by myself at home because I did do the two hair dyes um, previously at my house. Um, I bought the natural, I forgot the name, I'll post it down below. But I had bought that the box from like the dollar store, they're like eight dollars. They're not bad because they don't damage your hair at all. Um, but I wanted something professionally done to see if maybe So I knew I had uh, to undergo some bleaching because what I wanted to achieve seemed to be more on the lighter side. So I had to go and process my hair with bleach and then afterwards I got an undertone put in my hair so that um, it could give it more of a nicer look to it rather than just that orangey color when you dye your hair um, I also got a white streak in the front um, which I like the combination with it and the rest of my hair in some parts it looks like I got white streaks but I guess they just came out lighter than others which was something I was pursuing um, I wanted it to look like naturally um, it had naturally taken place over time um, I'm hoping that oh yeah by the way in the base I did keep my golden bronze and slash golden bronze slash uh, honey blonde color but she touched it up on the roots which were coming out and I don't know I guess that caused it to kind of go a little darker because it was lighter than this you were able to see it on camera so yeah that's the hair I'm rocking right now and yeah my input on this is that is very expensive to maintain um, you do have to purchase some color treated um, shampoos and conditioners to keep your hair moisturized and not dry and unfrizzy. I did purchase some, but I haven't been <clears throat> I haven't been putting them on my hair, um, like dosing it off with those products, just because it doesn't achieve this natural puff that I get when my hair is drying. Um, with the products it was weighing my hair down and it felt very oily and I felt like I needed to wash it more <clears throat> Sorry, my voice keeps fading so I only put a little bit of um, the products that I was I had purchased I want to show you guys the bottle I did buy it in the salon because she uh, the lady that did my hair did tell me that if I bought it at the store, I would be purchasing products, even if they said salon recommended or maybe salon brands, they were going to have a little bit more of sulfate and alcohol. Um, 
although they claim not to. So, not to have any decided it was safer to go with the products that she was selling. And let me show you guys. Hey, so it's a pretty big bottle, so I did not mind buying it. It was $20 for the shampoo and $20 for the conditioner. And I also got some anti freeze um, syrup. Serum. Not syrup. <laughs> I meant serum. Um, with a leave in conditioner for my hair. Um, it maintains the shine in my hair. And also, you know, like I said before, causes it not to frizz. So, it's supposed to help define the curls and keep it more on the nicer looking side rather than looking dry and yeah, pretty much. So, the salon product I bought was this, it's called Salon In Color Guard Conditioner and it's for color treated hair and it seals and protects color, nourishes and moisturizes. So I got this, as you can see it's a pretty big bottle to have and um, even though it cost as much as it did, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll, it's going to last me a while. Plus I'm trying not to use this very often by not washing my hair as frequent just because at first I was experiencing or I thought I was experiencing breakage and that scared me to death and I'm like oh god I don't want to go and cut my hair again oh yeah that's a very good point um, if you get your hair um, if you get your hair done do not cut your hair if you don't like it because I know the first days it took me a while to get used to how it looked and I was freaking out no, and I thought, you know, the only solution maybe was tying it back and waiting patiently or being very impatient and cutting all my hair off. That's how I felt. And I guess it's just a shock, you know, mostly when you're used to having brown or black hair and you see all the imperfections of your hair, whether it was that you had a, sh a side that was, you know, uneven, or if you had a side that looked a little bit frizzier, or little hairs falling off like this, <laughs> um, you see it more because it's blonde than when you have darker hair, you know, you don't even notice that you're shedding half the time. So I think that was the reason why I was freaking out. Um, so after the few days of keeping my hair up to prevent it from falling even further, um, I didn't do any hairstyling or any touching of the hair and I kept it up the entire time. But then after I washed my hair again, I felt my hair as it, as it was in its normal state when it was brown. So I started wearing it down again. So yeah, um, if you have any questions about, you know, hair dyeing or bleaching, um, you can go ahead and comment below and I will try to help you out with your concerns. Um, and as far as it goes, would I dye my hair again in the future? No. I actually kind of miss my hair color, but I decided to leave this look because I'm, I'm enjoying the look. But it's only going to be a stage um, as I was really, really loving my own hair color. And, you know, due to experimenting and wanting to see what ifs. Um, all this was done. Sorry guys, camera got cut off due to no space available. So this picture actually was after I came out of the salon when the products were weighing my hair down and this one is from yesterday and so is this one. I want to show you guys how my hair looks while it's drying 
and the last picture is from today and this is the second day here and pretty much yeah thank you guys for watching and please subscribe bye bye